today we're talking about dimensional hypertrochoid. I actually had to Google that in order to say it. Uh, we're just gonna call it dimensional. This is the first heavy wave frame grenade launcher that is stasis in Destiny. It is craftable. I have mine crafted and I've actually leveled it to level 16. We're gonna talk about what makes this unique, which is already unique as far as being the first wave frame heavy grenade launcher, but it's also stasis, which is pretty unique also. We're here at the crafting table, and yes, this weapon is craftable. And we're gonna go over some of the perks that you. So, like I said, it's a wave frame, so I just opted for last rate as my uh, actual masterwork, whatever you call it. And then again, kitted for bat blast radius, making the blast radius if possible. They only have two options, explosion, high velocity. I went with uh, high velocity. And then we get into the meat and potatoes of first perk and second perk option. So um, you do have hot swap, which final blows build and score charges. Uh, you just swap and stow this weapon faster. Not really a, a, a big perk that I would pick for. Uh, we have unrelenting, which rapidly defeating target gives you health regeneration, which I've opted to pick this perk because with it being in a wave, it actually hits multiple enemies and it can kill multiple enemies. So you can actually rock health regen with one shot multiple times, you know. Genesis has always been a garbage perk. Threat detector, um, not really relevant on uh, archetype. Uh, field prep could be good, you know, extra ammo, and furs, faster reload, so ready, ouch. Um, but not really what I was going through. Um, you got stats for all, which this could actually be useful too, because you're all, if you're shooting this into a mob of enemies, you're actually gonna hit more than Three enemies so that can give you a lot of stat bumps uh, for the weapon and then uh, you got a new perk here uh, envious assassin which this is basically um, it kind of overflows your magazine based on the kills that you get with your other weapon so it's kind of interesting but I don't think it's that great uh, and then we got our enhanced perk. So basically, I am. This weapon is not really good for like boss DPS. I'm mainly using it for ad clear. And the two, the other perk that I'm going to pick is going to synergize more. And so um, I'm going to pick Unrelent. You get better health regeneration. I have pretty much all of them. I realize you got to go to 17, not 16, so one more level. Second column, um, we got we got Thresh, which could be useful because you're gonna get more uh, super energy per kill as you're hitting multiple enemies with the last, with it being in a A frame. Uh, turnabout, uh, not that great. Uh, Pugilist, if you're going for a melee build, maybe could be great because you're killing a bunch of low tier adds. You're going to get your melee back really quick. Uh, again, Vorpal, it, like I said, I, I'm using this mainly for ad clear. Uh, Vorpal could be used to get extra 5% or 5 or 10 damage on bosses, but I don't think this is a good option for boss DP. Um, and then disruption break uh, could be interesting depending on if you're using your heavy for ad clear and then you're pulling out something a sniper for like say is Izanagi's you break an enemy shield pull out Izanagi's uh, increase vision 
And then you got uh, one for all, which hitting three enemies increases damage, which that could be that could go well with stats for all. Do one for all stats for all uh, would be great. Then the perk that I'm going with is chain reaction, and mainly because I'm using this for ad clear. These two are going to synergize well together. Rocking health regen. And so this is the combo that I'm going for, you know, basically ad clear. One thing to note is that you can damage yourself with this if you shoot it too close to yourself. For example, if I shoot it right here, look, you will kill yourself. So it's important to aim out in front of you and not at your feet like you do with a traditional wave frame of health regen easy health regen always explosions probably like one of the most fun ad clearing weapons I've used in a while. I have not taken it off since I've gotten it. Explosion everywhere. That's a pretty good um, radius to the blast radius. Well, that's pretty good damage to Mason, so... Uh, very fun heavy. Overall, this is a really good... Uh, fun heavy weapon to use for ad clear uh i don't think it will be the meta but it's definitely a fun option to use. definitely because it's crafting um i was using it all in the terminal overloads keeping me alive with pain reaction uh as far as pvp um the wave frame with it being a wave frame everyone's using strands so it's going to be hard to hit people on the ground and fires you only get three shots of ammo and it requires two shots from the wave direct hit the guardian in the crucible you can get away with a kill but that's really hard to do so let me know what you think about this weapon leave a comment uh let me know if you like this kind of review if you want What's the next weapon you want me to use? I'll see you guys on the next one.